Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft story mode video. Today, we are just picking up where we left off last time, exploring these like underground ruins of this mansion that people have been getting murdered in. So as you guys probably know, Dan TDM already died, Captain Sparkles died. So we'll see what happens, and let's just start the investigation. Stampy and Petra are over there. There's some. Let's check the chest first, I guess. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty, kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. Right, get out of here. Oh, come on, fam. No, bad kitty. Oh, stupid cat. I need something to distract it if I'm gonna get that chest open. Why don't you just push it? I mean, I know. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're so mean, you're pushing a cat. Just make it move. It's not that hard. If my dog is sitting on my table and I'm trying to record, I don't leave it there. I just some string from pick those. it up, put it somewhere else. Really not that hard. But, I mean, if you want to take it the nice way, whatever. I still don't see why it's unreasonable just to pick up the cat. I mean, don't throw it. But just kitty. Interfering with my investigation. Okay, Perhaps we'll just... it would leave okay, if you gave whatever. it some sort of delicious treat. Where am I gonna get something like that? Hmm. Let's talk to them, I guess. We'll leave the cat alone for a little okay? bit. I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the white pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. I bet one of those would convince that cat to get off the chest. But how am I gonna catch one? Oh, easy. We have sticks, we grabbed uh, string from those things. We just gotta build a fishing rod and get, get a fish. There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet, anyway. Oh, we so probably have to find sticks. I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. All right, easy, then. We just need to find a... Anything we need... else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Let's look at this real quick before Looks we... like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't mm -hmm. Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh yeah, yeah she did. My, I'm guessing it's either Cassie or Stacy, and I'm facing St Cassie a lot. So I make a fishing rod. Oh, to get a fish! Cats love fish. Yeah, and I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Let's head over to the pond, catch that fish real quick. Or, no, 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 let's not look at it. Let's use the fishing pole on it. Ah! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat will love this. All right, let's give it to the cat. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Oh, many cats. So many cats. Oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. Guess I can finally get in here now. Whoa, really? He's not a cat? Whoa. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Lizzie, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Well, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits. Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay, so who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The 
White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it! Uh, not only is she the White Pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a White Pumpkin. My computer is blowing up right now. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. What's going on? You were down there a while. What's happening? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? What? Why? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. <gasps> She's the murderer. No way. That can't be true, right? Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Dan got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense, Jesse. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tork Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Tork Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. That doesn't prove anything! Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow? He's brown, orange, and white. Easy. <laughs> Wrong. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well... I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I knew it. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is... Until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship. Figure out who had it. How could you, Cassie? You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with I mean, we're stuck Cassie here. Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No. This is your fault. You did this to me. What are you going on about? I'll fight all of you. Each and every one of you. I'll not. Oh, another trap. We need to dig her out. After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. You know what? I'm gonna stand with her. 
Wait, look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Wow. The trapper taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. Though is she dead? Yeah, she's probably dead. <laughs> I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad that Dan and Sparkles aren't here to smell it. Or Talk Dog and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us that Paul brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? It's probably under the it's building. True. Maybe it's nearby. It's probably hey, this thing. What do you know, there it is. A fabulous coincidence. So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> I mean, that's a nice offer and all. But I don't think we'll be portal hopping without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from Dan? It was just meant to be a prank. A harmless prank. And I'm so sorry. So very, very sorry. Yeah, come on. It's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Hey, it's cool. Guys, you can share it. You make, like, your own order of the stone. Yeah, I guess I could live with that. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Me too. Bye, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. I knew yes. it was her, too, from the beginning, I swear. About that. She always looks weird. It was either Stampy or her, met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Like the portal. Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's strange. I thought. Oh! Winslow. What are you doing, buddy? I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! I knew she was alive. I knew it. <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world. I knew you weren't dead, Cassie. I knew it was way too easy. And yet you still walked right into my best and final. I trial. knew she was alive. I don't know she how much have just died that easily. With Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? 
Just give me the flint and steel, and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Okay, you're right, you win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap! Want something done right, you can prepare for your death! <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Without a lever, our button will never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. <laughs> oh, that is disorienting. Come on, climb up, come up, come up. Come up. Hit it. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so Crazy. paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Oh, no. Give me my key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grow tired of this game, Jesse. The key, you didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No! <laughs> no, we are going home. No, 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 no. no, you can't do this. I've waited too long. It's mine, Cassie. I won't let you have it. Should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious. <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever. That's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home. <laughs> Come on, Winslow. Winslow, Winslow, come on. Down with the love. You know I love you, but you look very tired sometimes. Hey, cats suck. What did you say? You heard me. Cats suck. Pigs are way cooler. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. What's going? Ah, I've got it. Excellent. I did it. You're all dying now. Uh, no, thank you. Got it. No! I 
bet you're real proud of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Enderpearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up! Trapped. In my own trap! <laughs> of course. Of course. Well, at least you're still alive. That's more than Torque Dog or Captain Sparkles or Dan can say. You're right. Of course you're right. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... my only friend. Please. Hmm. I'm gonna walk away. You don't deserve that cat. Winslow? Winslow! Where are you, my darling? Come to Master, please! Mm -hmm. I have a fish! Come get the fishy! Winslow? No, you Winslow! don't deserve Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Let's do it. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! Yeah. And I think that <clears throat> should be the end of this episode. I think it should be. Yeah, it should be. Cool. I actually really enjoyed that episode. That was probably my favorite one thus far. All right. What's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles. Yo. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much mm. worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. Sweet. <laughs> I definitely liked that episode. Alright, <clears throat> did you show the flint and steel to Sparkles? When did... Oh, only 14%? Oh. Alright, let's take a look. <clears throat> Most players show the flint and steel to Sparkles. That's good. Only 14% accuse Stampy. So I was... In the very minority there. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my throat. Um, most of us <clears throat> went after the white pumpkin instead of helping your friends. Most of us picked Cassie. And only 26% of players left her all alone. <clears throat> now, you may think I'm the most cruel person in the world. And that I'm a terrible person. But... You know what? After murdering Captain Sp or yeah, after murdering Captain Sparkles, after murdering Dan TDM, after mur murdering Torque, honestly, if someone was stuck in a hole and they said, "Yo, can I just have my cat?" You know what? No, no, I will not give you your cat because you just murdered people. Like that's one of the biggest things. Where sure, second chances, whatever. I'll give you a second chance, but. There's a boundary there. If you've murdered people, it's kind of over. It's at the point where I don't have sympathy for you at all. It's hard for me to have sympathy for you after you murdered people. Now, if you said, sorry, sure, like, let's do something about it. Even after she was caught, maybe she could... No, she didn't do anything. She had her mind set on murdering and killing even after that. So, for you might guys think I'm cruel. You know what? I don't care. I have no sympathy for her. She can stay down there all alone, and she can... I know it's going to sound... She can die for all I care, because she deserves it. I I, I think she deserves it. I, I don't really care. That f 
I mean, I know if it's a video game, it's not real life, but if if some, if something like that happened in real life where a person went around murdering people and then said, oh, but can I have my cat? No, no, you, you can't have your cat because you don't deserve your cat. You are a terrible human being. That's just what I think. I, I didn't want to give that cat to her. For a second, I was like, she's stuck anyway. Might as well just give her her cat and make her happy for one last time. No. No, I'm I'm okay. I don't want to make her happy one last time. She didn't make Captain Sparkles happy. She didn't make Dan TDM happy. She didn't make Torque happy. No, she just killed them. So yeah, I don't I don't what goes around comes around and what what you gave around came back around. Um so most people did give her the cat. I don't get why. I don't. Maybe just down deep inside, I'm not a very good person, but I don't care because I she didn't deserve that cat at all. There was, there was no reason why she should have that cat. I don't care if it's her best friend. You murder people. I really don't care. Um, that is the credits, though. And that is... So I know I just went on a depressing rant, but you know what? I had lots of fun with this episode. That was definitely my favorite episode thus far. Access Denied is our next one, starting episode 7. So that is very exciting, guys. I'm hopefully episode seven is as good as six. But guys, I had a lot of fun today. Hopefully, you guys had a lot of fun watching. If you did, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. And by the way, in the comments, if you've gotten this far to the video, tell me your opinion. Would you give her the cat? Would you not give her the cat? I'm genuinely interested. God bless and goodbye.